totally meant to do that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a little while, but today, if you can already tell by the title down below, if that doesn't give it away, I'm just going to go ahead and say what this video is. It is another book haul video. Yay! I don't know why I'm like this today, but we're going with it. Anyway, there is a lot of books. I tried holding them before. Too many at one time to hold. So, anyway, without further ado, let's just jump on into this haul. I like that. <laughs> okay. For real. Alright, the first book I have is the Red Scrolls of Magic, and it's a Shadow Hunter novel. And these two on the cover, if you don't already know, is Alec Lightwood and Manga Spain. My two favorite books so far back. Alright, now, let me tell you what this one is all about. All Manga Spain wanted was a vacation, don't we all? A lavish trip across Europe with Alec Lightwood, the shadow hunter who, against all odds, is finally his boyfriend. Yes! It doesn't seem like too much for the century-old high warlock to ask for. But no sooner have they settled in Paris, then an old friend arrives with news about a demon-worshipping cult called the Crimson Hand that is bent on causing chaos around the world. A cult that was apparently founded by Mangus himself years ago as a joke. Bad dang it. Now, Mangus and Alec must race across Europe to track down the Crimson hand and its exclusive new leader before the cult can cause any more damage. As if it wasn't bad enough that their romantic getaway has been sidetracked, demons are now dodging their every step and it is becoming harder to tell friend from foe. As their request for answers becomes increasingly desire, Mangus and Alec have to trust each other more than ever, even if it means revealing the secrets they've both been keeping. And that is the Red Scrolls of Magic. I don't know when exactly I will get to it, but I'm excited that it is in my hands physically. So, yay. Alright. Moving on with this book haul, ignore the closet back there. I found a book called A Kiss in the Dark. Where we buy by Eugenia Ch I'm not even sure how to say that last name, but there we go. She's also the author of the one called Last Year's Mistake that I also have. Haven't read it. No. But that sounded good. And so I was like, ooh, there's another book. I think that goes along with it. Or maybe not. It doesn't go with that story. But it's by the same author, so. Anyway. When the lights go out at Georgia High School football game, senior Macy Atwood finds herself in the arms of a boy who kisses her senseless. 
but it is gone by the time the lights come back on. All she knows is that there was something special and an oddly familiar about her mystery kisser. Noah Granger, Rick Dales, a resident bad boy and the newest transfer student, has no problem taking credit for the kiss. But Macy can't shake the feeling that he's lying. Especially since a photograph of Macy and former star football player Joel Hargrove <laughs> refers to online moments before the blackout and a not-so-random reminder of how hard she fell for Joel last year and of how doing so unlimitedly sorry, sent her lifelong friends with Meredith Coppola and Ben Collins up in a literal smoke. Soon, the last year's wounds began to reopen as Macy realized the events that unfold during junior year might be tied together to her mystery kisser. But the closer Macy gets to figuring it all out, the more she starts to worry that the boy who kissed her in the dark and the boy who is stealing her heart might be two different people. Oh, I hope they're not two different people because, oh, abba, abba. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> All right, the next book I got because I was excited about it, and it's a Disney book, and it is Mirror Mirror. What if the evil queen poisons the prince? Hmm. Now, that just sounds interesting, doesn't it, friends? What if the evil queen poisoned the prince? Following her beloved mother's death, Snow White's kingdom falls into the hands of her stepmother, commonly referred to as the evil queen, by those she rules. Snow keeps her head down at the castle, hoping to make the best of her situation. But when a plot to kill her goes awry, everything changes for Snow. With the help of a group of wary dwarfs and a kind prince she thought she'd never see again, and a mysterious figure from her past, Snow embarks on a quest to stop the evil queen and take back her kingdom. But can she stop an enemy who knows her every move and will do anything to hold on to her power, including go after the one after the one Snow loves? That just sounds fantastic. All right, this next book I got. <laughs> Funny enough, it's actually the third book in the series, but I don't think you have to read them technically in order. I'm not going to do it that way. But this one it sounds really good. It's a Assassin's Mask Q. You know, like, like for the ball, that kind of thing. But it just looked and sounded good. Like, hello, Assassins. I need more Assassin books in my life so ow it's <laughs> it's being brutal to me anyway thief forger royal confidence if i'm trying to say these words correctly if i'm not i'm sorry i'm really trying my best so just bear with me in these videos all right Things are turning around for 17-year-old Peggy Fitzroy, a once orphaned spy. Her father is back from the dead, and her unwanted engagement has been called off for good. But when a mysterious veiled woman shows up at her uncle's funeral, Peggy uncovers a fresh slew of questions about her past, present, and future. Now, Peggy is back at the palace, unsure of her own loyalties. With a Jacobite... <laughs> okay. 
uprising circling ever closer to the throne. It's imperative that Peggy discovers whom she can trust. Can she save herself and the royal family? Or is she doomed to be one more pawn sacrificed in this most deadly game? And that is the Assassin's Master Q. I don't know if I'm saying that last name right. Or that name right at all. But we're trying. So A for effort. Okay, moving on. This next book, I gosh, I'm so excited because I'm still currently reading the first book, so I will definitely get to this one, hopefully this year, and as you might have called it or didn't call it or didn't know exactly what I was talking about, and that is Holy Sister by Mark Lawrence. It is the third uh, book to the Red Sister ex ex it's to the Red Sister book series. And the searing conclusion of the thrilling epic fantasy trilogy that saw a young girl trained by Arakan Order of Nuns grow into the fierce of warriors. They came against her as a child, now they face the woman. The ice is advancing, the courier narrowing, and the empire is under siege from the Scythrol in the east and Durant in the west. Everywhere, the empire's armies are in retreat. Nona Gray faces the final challenges that she must o overcome if she is to become a full sister. Yes, Nona, in the order of her choice. But it seems unlikely that she and her friends will have time to earn a nun's habit before war is on their doorstep. Even a warrior like Nona cannot hope to turn the tide of war. The ship hearts offer strength that she might use to protect those she loves. But its power that corrupts a final battle is coming, in which she will be torn between friends, unable to save them all, a battle in which her own demons will try to unmake her, a battle in which hearts will be broken, lovers lost, thrones busted, and that is holy sister. Why does it look like naked? Nothing but it. Purple. Anyway. We're mature on this channel. Sort of. Alright. Sorry. I didn't look at this one naked. Eh. It's alright. <laughs> okay, moving on. The other book that I got that came out this month, I'm excited to, excited to, excited about, and it, ooh, sorry, the pages distracted me. It's to shatter me. I don't know why I'm all over the place today, but I am. But I got to defy me. And it follows more with Juliet, and now I have the whole series, so I can binge the other books and get to this one. I'm so excited! Okay, pain. It begins at my feet, blooms up my legs, unfurls in my stomach, and works its way up my throat, only to explode behind my eyes, inside my brain, and I cry out, but only in my mind. My useless hand still limp on the armrest, and I'm so certain he's going to kill me. But then, he smiles. And then, he's gone. <laughs> Dramatic pause. What does this look like? Ooh. 
a white, oh, it's a white cover, it's purple on the side, and it is also a signed, like, I love when books are signed, by the author, and it also has those decked out apple pages, at least that's what I call them, anyway. Another book that I checked, well, checked out, got this month is A Blood at Leaf by Crystal Smith. This cover, oh my goodness. I fell to my knees and pressed my hands against the stone, feeding the energy of my loss into the tower and deep into the power below. Letting it expand and grow until I was not simple, simply me. I was the tower, I was the storm, the magic, the blood leaf. That sounds really good. And, ooh, the spine has stuff though. Yes. This is going to be a really long video, but there's two books left that I got for this book haul, so... Oh my goodness. I was so excited when I saw this book the other day because I hadn't gotten it yet, and I kind of forgot about it, but then when I seen it, I was like, oh yeah, I need you. And so I picked up Killing November... Sorry, my ring light kind of died. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. Yeah, my little selfie light died. Anyway, I got Killing November. It is by the author who wrote How to Hang the Witch. Have I read them? No, need to this year because they sound really amazing. And so does Killing November, which I will read to you guys. November is as good as dead. She just doesn't know it yet. At the International Academy at there is no electricity, no internet, and an arnic eye for an eye punishment system. Oh, brutal. Classes range from knife throwing and poisonous to the art of the deception. And the students, all silver spoon descendants of the world's most elite strategists training to become assassins. See, I did say I need more assassins in my life. I wasn't lying. <laughs> Spies and master impersonators. <laughs> impersonators. Sorry. One is a retros of <laughs> accents and never to be trusted. Another is the vicious fighter determined to exploit November's weakness. And then there's a boy with the mis memorizing eyes and a secret agenda. November doesn't know how ordinary girls like her fit into the school's complicated legacy. But when a student is murdered, she'll need to separate her enemies from her alleys before the crime gets pinned on her. Or she becomes the killer's next victim. And that is why are we not focusing? And that is Killing November. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that helped a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. Don't know what it looks like to make it. Leave a thumbnail. Ooh. It red and silver on the Fine. Okay. Oh, 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 stop. <laughs> the books all want to come tumbling down. The last book I have is actually one, two, three, four, five. It's five books in one. And just look at those pages. And look at the in side of the page 
and then on the back, like white. And if I can get it out, but see you in there. Oh, there we are. It comes with a ribbon bookmark inside of the book. I love it. Okay, this is the Wizard Wizard series. It's weird to say, but it, it looks so freaking cool. And that spine, though, and the red pages, like, yes! Okay. On this cord, it's Fear versus Magic. A mysterious coach of five presses that I cannot say some of these words, so please bear with me. The five perspectives. There we go. Now we got it. The five perspectives, one team. Magic doesn't seem possible for the West Bottom Badgers. They're the lowest ranked basketball team in the league, and they live in the poorest neighborhood in Dren. Nobody accepts them to succeed. But when a new coach named Robbie Wizard Nerd... <laughs> Arise on the first day of training camp. Every player experiences strange, unique visions that challenge what they know about basketball and their secret struggles of the court or off the court. My bad. <laughs> to survive the camp, unlike or sorry, to survive a camp unlike anything they've ever seen, the Badgers need to unimaginable risk learn to trust their teammates and confront their inner fears from the mind of the basketball legend Kobe Brent comes this portrait of one magical coach told from each player's perspectives whose unusual approach reveals how greatness lies with and it sounds pretty interesting and the cover and the pages are just gorgeous so i figured i'd give it a try anyway that is all for this video and if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscription subscription that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you can be notified for when I post new videos and you don't want to miss from me and yeah guys that's all I have for this video sorry it was all over the place it's been a little while since I uploaded a video so that would have a lot to do with it so just back into practicing again and I will see you guys next time Bye.